Today we're gonna to be going over a full speed workout that you guys can do in the gym. We're gonna give you examples of each exercise, talk about how it makes you faster, and give you the exact sets and reps to do. Now, the first exercise of this workout split, we're going to be giving you three different splits that you can do within the workout. I'm going to show an example of the workout, obviously, and like I said, give you the exact sets and reps. So this first exercise for football players to get faster is a 50% explosive barbell back squat. So essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to grab this barbell, you're going to have it on your back, obviously you're going to take it off a squat rack. This is just for the demonstration, but when we go into this thing, what we're going to do is we're going to squat down to like a 50% position, so parallel. We are not going to be going below parallel. We're going to squat directly to parallel. Now, when we're at this parallel position, you're going to hold it for maybe a two-second count. So 1,001, 1,002, explode up. So it's almost like a pause squat, I guess you could say, but you're only going to parallel. Now, why are we only going to parallel as a football player? So as a football player, it is very, very rare that you guys ever get to a below parallel position. Even offensive linemen, when they're in their stance, they're not like this, below parallel. As a receiver, when you drop into a break, we're not below parallel. As a quarterback, we're never below parallel. It's very, very uncommon to do that below parallel squat position. But everybody talks about, oh, get full depth, get full depth. And I'm not saying that's bad. If you're trying to work on your legs, maybe get a little bit bigger, whatever the case may be. But as a football player, we got to work on positions that we're actually in on the field, especially when we were training for speed and agility. Now, why are we doing the pause squat and why are we exploding up? Because in the gym, to get faster, to train to get faster, you have to work out something called fast twitch muscle fibers. Every single athlete has two types of muscle fibers. You have fast twitch fibers and slow twitch fibers. In the gym, if we were just doing squats, lightweight, and we were doing like 15, 16 reps, that's working on your slow twitch fibers. But me stopping my momentum and having to explode up as quickly as possible, because that's how I want you to do this exercise, works on that fast twitch, all out effort movement. So that's how we ultimately have to train, and we have to train exact game replicable situations or techniques that we will be in. So I'm gonna show you how this should look full speed. You wanna perform this exercise, first exercise of the split for five sets, doing five reps per set. <sighs> Now, before we get into our second split of this speed workout, fellas, if you're a quarterback or wide receiver and would like to train with us this off season, we are gonna be coming out to 11 more states across the country for two day long QB and wide receiver training camps. Next up on our camp tour, we'll be heading out to Portland, Oregon. Then we'll be coming out to Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois. All four of those camps, though, you guys, are completely sold out. But then we'll be heading out to Buffalo, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our Philly camp is actually sold out as well, but then we'll be heading out to Detroit, Michigan, Boise, Idaho, and Los Angeles, California. So guys, you want some more information, you're local to those cities, would like to train with myself and my staff, your quarterbacks and wide receivers. Check out that very first link in the description below. We're training for two whole days when we go to each state, eight hours total of training. So again, guys, very first link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. Now this next exercise, or I guess you could say our next split for this workout, this is split two, we're going to be doing something called a foot elevated explosive step up. So let me show you guys the exercise, kind of a basic rundown. We're obviously gonna show a full speed example before I get into how this can make you faster. So what we're doing, obviously you're gonna be doing this with a barbell. Um, honestly, you get the same benefit out of this if you're on the younger side of things and you don't use weight, or maybe you just use dumbbells, maybe you're holding a medicine ball, a kettlebell. But I like doing this with a barbell, especially if you're more on the advanced side of things. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna have a foot elevated to this bench. So a regular step up is where you have one foot on the bench, and all you do is you just pretty much just step up. Great leg exercise that you could do. Sometimes great for explosion. So just doing it foot elevated is a way to generate, a, get a little bit more out of this exercise from an explosiveness and a power standpoint, which both directly relate to speed. So you're gonna be here, foot's gonna be elevated. You're going to strike the ground, or I guess you could say strike the bench. So you're gonna strike the bench, shoot up, and snatch your knee up, and snatch your toe up to your chest. Then you're gonna come back down, foot elevated, bam, strike the ground, shoot back up again. We're trying to push off of the foot that makes contact with the bench. Now, how does this help you with speed? I honestly think this is pretty self-explanatory, right? Because when we run, how are we striking the ground, right? I'm running, I bring my knee up. When I strike the ground, I'm trying to snatch my opposite knee up and opposite toe up. When I strike the ground, I'm on the ball of my foot, trying to drive my knee up to that 90 degree position. So you're essentially mimicking that exact position, but adding on a little bit of resistance, and you're trying to be as explosive as possible to activate fast twitch muscle fibers. So guys, I'm gonna show you how this should look full speed. You're gonna do about three sets on each leg of six to eight reps. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Now our third split of this gym speed workout is going to be a superset. So what's a superset? That is where you perform two exercises or sometimes even three exercises, but this is going to be strictly two exercises back to back. So you're doing one exercise, you're going to rack the weight or drop the weight, then you're going to move on to the next exercise. So the first part of this superset is going to be something called an explosive split squat. So what is a split squat? So a split squat is where you're standing here, one foot is back on this bench, and we are just simply squatting down, single leg, right? So now, main mistake that a lot of guys will make on an explosive split squat is an explosive split squat is instead of when we go down and when we pop up, instead of just standing straight up, we go down and we jump up and try to snatch my knee up and snatch my toe up. A lot of guys, what they'll do is they won't land on the ball of their foot. They will go down and then they will land very flat footed. We don't get any explosion off of my heel. Just like when we run, we don't want to be on my heels. So this exercise is great to promote good foot strike, staying on the ball of your foot. So you could do this holding dumbbells. I'm going to do it with dumbbells when I show you the full speed example. But again, you were dropping down and you were just exploding up, trying to snatch your knee and toe up as high as you can up to your chest. We're going to be doing three sets of six to eight reps on each leg. Then once you complete a set where you go six on the right leg or eight and six or eight on the left leg, then you're going to come over and grab a medicine ball. So this medicine ball, what you're going to be doing is we're just going to be doing medicine ball slam. So obviously the weight of the medicine ball varies on a few things. It varies on your age, varies on your strength levels. This is a eight pound medicine ball. You've got to go heavier than eight pounds. It's just for the demonstration, but I recommend if you're on the younger side of things, eight pounds is great. But if you're older, 12, 15, 18 pound medicine ball would be great. So all we're going to be doing is simple med ball slam. So we're going to pick the ball up off the ground, reave it over my head, slam it onto the ground, repeat the process. We're doing again, three sets of six to eight reps. So why do we do the slams? Obviously the explosive split squat is self-explanatory as to how that helps with speed, but the slams again, activates fast twitch muscle fibers. We're trying to be explosive and your fast twitch fibers is what translates to on-field speed. Now, if you're getting some value out of this video and you guys are learning a few new things, a few new exercises to help with your speed, if you would like a four week long in the gym speed workout plan that you guys can use, check out that second link in the description below. We map out every single exercise that you should do. We give out picture examples of each exercise so you're not confused. We give you the exact sets and reps, rest days, the works, you guys. So if you guys would like to get faster, Check out that second link in the description below for a full one month long speed workout plan.